Yo, what up? It's your boy Bike with another video. Today, I am gonna break down some of the best stands to have to actually draw on with your Samsung tablet. Let's get into it. So let's break it down. We have about four archetypes of different stands. You have your case stand, you have your magnetic stands, and then you have what I like to call the wedge stand. And then you have, I don't really know what you call this, it's more of a laptop type stand, but you can also adjust the height and everything on these uh, on that stand and so we're gonna go through all of these stands to see which stand is right for you so this right here is a magnetic stand by lulu look it is premium built aluminum is very sturdy the magnets are very strong now this particular one you cannot adjust the height but you can turn it 306 degrees you also can tilt it i think 180 degrees i believe now this stand is very good for people who like to draw with their tablet almost vertically kind of like an easel now let's check amazon for the price the price is about 85 dollars for the tablets that are 12.4 inches and then for the ultra is 89 dollars now as i'm looking on amazon right now it looks like they have updated lulu look has updated their magnetic stand and they have put a joint right there by the base of the stand so that you can not only adjust the height you can adjust the angle and it depends on how far that joint allows you to to actually move you probably can get it down to like a 45 degree angle um this was one of my cons in this actual stand but it looks like they updated it so that's wonderful uh, i may have to switch test this thing out and you know see what it do now this stand has um, cushions where the tablet meets the actual stand so it does not damage your tablet um, it has a grip pad at the bottom to act as resistance when you're drawing so it doesn't move easily uh, while you're actually drawing it has a built-in hole in the middle of the stand to put your wires through um, it has a slot for your s pen in the back of it and it, you know if i hit my knuckle on this stand you can hear how solid this thing is it's not cheaply made it's a well made product good quality product now the second stand that we're going to talk about is what i like to call the wedge stand or the riser stand and when you put the tablet on it the tablet is about i would say about a 45 degree angle it's tilted about 45 degrees now this is my favorite way to actually draw now this stand is also well built it has cushions where the tablet meets the stand so it won't scratch it up um or damage your tablet it has rubber feet on the back of it so it doesn't slide as you're putting pressure on the actual um as you're putting pressure while you're drawing it has a few built-in holes to put wires through and things like that and yeah this stand is a it's a simple stand but it works and it's cheaper than the magnetic stand but you cannot adjust the height or the angle on this particular stand you have to be good with the 45 degree angle that this stand provides. Now, next up, we're gonna talk about the case stand. Two different kind of case stands, right? You have one case stand that is almost like a folder-like design and you can peel back the cover and fold it up under the tablet and make it like a wedge type of uh, situation. And then you have your Surface Pro type case stands where it has a kickstand in the back and it kind of puts you in mind of the microsoft surface and the angle of that stand I, I i would say usually range from about 80 degrees to about 60 degrees and then that the case stand that turns into a, a wedge stand that angle is more like a 45 degree angle now the pros of the wedge like case stand is that it's going to be a little bit cheaper well a lot cheaper <laughs> i think i paid under ten dollars for this actual case stand the build of it is plastic soft plastic material and it does a okay job of protecting it um another thing is it protects the screen also because it is like a 
a folder type of uh, case. So you're getting, if you're, you're protecting your screen and also the back of it. Now it, it's, this could be, this is kind of like a nitpick for me, but when you put this case into what I would like to call stand mode, you fold it back, but when you fold it back, it's the tablet is actually upside down. And so, you know, your charging port is on the other side now, your cameras are facing down and things like that. It's a minor, minor, minor thing. Um, but I just thought I would mention that. Now the other case slash stand, um, Samsung calls this stand the protective standing cover. And this one goes for about $74 on Amazon, which I ain't gonna even cap. It's kind of high for just some some plastic uh, yeah it's, it's, it's kind of high you almost can get the the new and improved magnet stand but you know i guess it's different use cases you know this is um more you can take it on the go and things like that so i yeah i do understand it but it is a little bit uh, it is a little bit too high for me but this one it has a kickstand in the back like i was saying like the microsoft surface now they do have third party kickstand cases like this but this one that samsung is selling is is really the only one that the kickstand is running the length of the actual case and so what this does is just this just provides more stability as you're drawing versus some of those third party that they just have this actually looks like a, a bicycle kickstand and so if you draw on it draw on it from a wrong angle or something like that you probably tip it over uh, i think those stands are more for just like consuming media and not really physically touching you know your tablet and also this one is made up it's made up of hard plastic so it looks like it'll do a uh, decent enough job protecting the back of your tablet but it does not protect the front of your tablet it's just all back of your tablet now the next thing we're going to talk about is really made for a laptop or a ipad and i would like to call it like uh i guess like a laptop riser I, I don't know what you call it to be honest with you i'm gonna put down the links down in the description below i use this very this stand very briefly but i i wanted to highlight this stand because i think you should not get a stand like this and this is the only reason why i'm actually even talking about it but this stand i mean it's, it's well built uh, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the angle of it, and everything is very sturdy. It's made of aluminum, hard aluminum. But the thing about this tablet that I, I, I just do not like is that it has these like, and I forgot the word for it. I call them lips. They're calling it hooks. So that's, listen, that's what we're going to go with, the hooks. And these are things this is the thing that hold the tablet to the actual stand so they're calling it hooks so the hooks are they protrude so much that it can get in the way while you're actually drawing especially if you you're drawing something towards the bottom of the actual screen it can get in the way and it kept getting in my way i'm like i don't i don't like i don't like this stand i found another use for the stand but if you can avoid stands like this so i got one more stand and i actually just got this stand so i'm kind of adding this to this video but this stand is called sketchboard pro now this stand is originally for the iPad. And so I, I've, I heard rumblings that you can actually mod it for the Samsung tablet. I got an email from one of my subscribers saying that he actually modded his Sketchboard Pro for his S8 Ultra. And I decided to buy one and try to mod it myself. Now, before I get all into that, I just want to talk about the stand and how it is different from any other stands that you've seen on this video. So basically this stand kind of turns your tablet into a Cintiq simply because of the large bezels around it. And it allows you to 
rest your hands and it, it gives the illusion that your tablet is actually bigger than what it actually is and i've had this for about two weeks now and i'm loving it i'm really loving it i may not go back to all the other stands besides maybe aesthetic looks for you know different videos or whatever but this stand is so amazing it's so amazing and the outside of it it's 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 made of hard plastic hard plastic and then the middle part is made of like soft rubber where you put your actual tablet at and it has an opening right here in the front where you can, you know, carry it. And then it has four feet in the back of it. And so that way you can flip it portrait mode or landscape mode. Um, you could flip all four of the legs, legs up. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can do it. <laughs> it is an option, right? And so this stand is going for 100 and $29 on Amazon. That's how much I paid for it on Amazon. It is by far the highest stand on the list, but it is well worth it. I can really see myself not even using my Cintiq 22, it, like pop in my tablet and start drawing on this. So yeah, the Sketchboard Pro, Sketchboard Pro. And basically all I did, I'm not gonna get into install cause I'm gonna make a specialized video on um, how to actually mod it. But all you gotta do is put your tablet on it, trace it with a marker or something like that and then start cutting. And that's basically what I did. And so that's all you gotta do. So yeah, in my opinion, this stand is superior to all other stands like this is this is the stand of stands <laughs> you feel me so if you want to check out my full review on the lululook magnetic stand click this video right here but anyway i'll holler at you